Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial about moving and generally editing assets that you bring into your frame. So I'll get started with a simple example. I'm going to bring an image into my frame. I could either do this in the add to this frame dropdown or I could use my inventory. I've already got some in my inventory, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this frame logo. It's a transparent PNG with some transparency. So here it is, the frame logo. Now, it'll come in at a certain spot and often you will want to move it around and manipulate it. Maybe you want it to be bigger. Maybe you want it to be sideways. Maybe you wanna to try to bring it up to the screen. Maybe you wanna put a link on it. And let's dive into how to do all of those things. So at a core level, what you want to do is turn on edit mode. So that's a toggle in the sidebar. You have it if you are on a frame that you've created or that you have permission to edit. So turn on edit mode and then click on the asset and you will see a box appear around it with a few things that you can grab. These are called gizmos and you also see this edit menu at the bottom left which gives you a lot of buttons to press and a lot of settings to set. First though, just to move it around, you can click and drag it to move it around, okay? And let's say this only moves it kind of around the avatar as I look around, but let's say you wanna really move it forward in space. I'm gonna click and while I'm holding, I just move my avatar either with the arrow keys or the WASD keys and the asset kind of comes along for the ride as my avatar moves, okay? So if I wanted this up on this screen, I would click and hold, and I'm gonna drag it until I see it kind of go behind it. I know I've gone too far, so I'm gonna back up a little bit. Here it is, it's still way too small, so I wanna rotate it. I'm gonna use the rotation buttons on this edit menu, and then I'm going to grab this rotation handle, look a little bit off kilter, just set it nice. It's still too small, so I'm gonna scale it up really big. And then I need it just to move up in space. So instead of clicking and dragging, I can just grab this arrow, this directional arrow, to just move it upwards. And then I wanna move it sideways, I'm gonna move it a little bit sideways. And once you have it in the good, nice spot, what I recommend doing is going to the edit menu and clicking lock position. That means that even if you're in edit mode and you click and drag it, it won't move around. It'll really just be there. This is really handy when you're working with a lot of assets. It can be easy to accidentally grab one. Now I'm going to unlock its position. And I just want to point out that in this same edit menu is where you can add a link to uh, assets. If you want to put a link to another frame or have yourself get a text message when someone clicks it or have it be a link to another spot in your frame. You can do that here. You can also set whether you want it to be zoomable. You can set which scenes it will appear on. Right now it's just set to appear on scene one. So that's why when I go to scene two, it disappears. But if you want to have it be on scene one and two, then you can do that right there. So now when I go to scene two, it shows up. Okay. so. That's pretty much it. it. It works that way for most assets, really. Um, even you know things like 3D models you bring in and they work the same way, right? It's click and drag to move around, click and drag and move your avatar to really move them through space. And then experiment with these gizmos to see how to manipulate them further. Um, the circular ones are these rotation handles. You can scale it up either by dragging the scale handle. The reason why the box is jerking around is because this model's animated. You can grab these scale handles or uh, use the scale button in the edit menu. Remember to use that lock position toggle once you've got something where you want it. Okay, so those are the basics of moving assets around and manipulating them. Good luck.